We are a group of students in Arts for Hearts Club at Hamilton High School in Arizona. Living in the desert, it can be easy to think of the ocean as far away and ocean pollution as a very distant issue. However, everyone in the world is a part of an interconnected global village. Even in the desert, we reap the benefits our oceans provide and we contribute to the millions of tons of plastic and marine debris harming marine life, the environment, and ultimately humans. So, we decided to do something to promote education and awareness of ocean pollution in our community and the future. We saw plastics in our neighborhoods and decided to create a two week long art show at our public library along with a presentation for children. But let's rewind a bit because there were a lot of steps that went into this. We talked to administrators and teachers and made signs that we hung around the cafeteria to collect plastics, aluminum, and other trash that ends up in our oceans. Over the course of two days, we realized how much trash our school creates, and we discovered that many recyclables are ending up in the trash cans where they don't belong, which is an issue we discussed with the school. Using the trash we collected from school, we built the centerpiece for our art show. We created a shadow art sculpture, shining our light upwards to make the shadow larger than the actual figure, to show that the effects of our trash in the ocean are much larger than one aluminum can may seem to have. We wanted our artwork to represent the cycle in which we and our environment coexist. Our pollution feeds into the oceans, which in turn will lead to dire consequences for not only nature, but also ourselves. The trash building our city spills out to meld with the trash building the wave about to crash into the city. This is the future if we don't spread awareness and take action now. The child blocking the trash between the city and the wave represents our efforts to promote awareness and prevent devastation. We deliberately made a child to represent our generation and future generations, a concept we applied through the second part of our project where we gave presentations to children. But before that, we collected art by putting up signs in local art studios and classes. Besides our art show, we wanted to present facts about the ocean and pollution, so we contacted ICANN, a local after-school program for children. We chose to present to these kids because they are the future, and our actions together now will shape that future. It's really enthusiastic, and they really they listen very closely, so I really hope that um, what we do our presentation, which is about ocean awareness, it will get through to them and they can try to make the ocean better. Our experience today at ICANN was pretty fun. The kids were very engaged and we thought that it was very interesting to learn about how our actions in Arizona, a desert, can affect the ocean, the animals. The kids were super happy to create the artwork that we were going to later put in the Chandler Public Library and they were enthusiastic to work together as a community with both volunteers. And their art in the art show was amazing. We spent a lot of time communicating with the library, organizing the art, and setting up. We wrote up facts to place around the art so it would be educational as well. We advertised our art show on social media and had many visitors of all ages. I even interviewed some of them. I thought this art was really cool and it was a great idea. Ocean pollution is really bad. It's causing lots of ocean animals to die. So I should use 
less plastic bags, straws, and throwing items into the ocean.